Hello again, I have here another LEGO Overwatch set. This is Dorado Showdown, and it is the set so far that comes with Soldier 76 and McCree, and it also has an additional uh, Reaper who's available in one other set as of this time. This is based off an escort mission on the map called Dorado. In those missions, the thing you are escorting is this truck, this very retro-styled but very futuristic hover truck. It's kind of based on a... I want to say a late 1940s, very early 1950s design for a heavy-duty truck, very heavy-duty, you know, something larger and stronger than a regular pickup. This one here, to me, in its cab, especially with the size of the windscreen, doesn't look quite as heavy-duty in its design uh, as the in-game model. I feel like the windscreen should have been less tall, either that or the engine, well, not real engine compartment, but what in a real truck would be the engine compartment should be a bit taller but overall it looks pretty decent it's a hover truck so it has these repulsor pods on the sides you can change the angles of those a bit but to make it easier to play with they do allow it to roll back and forth with the use of some real physical wheels that are in contact with the ground they're actually train wheels that they use down there which makes it smooth and it keeps those from being too obvious you know if they had put wheels with tires on uh, even the thinnest of tires would have been you know with the, the technic pulley based ones that are like rubber bands still would have been much more obvious than these so though they are very visible i just have to acknowledge that right up, you know right from the start uh you you don't see them as as well i think as you would with most other options so i think this is about the best option i'm not sure if i like the, the little yellow bits the yellow studs that were used throughout this this is the generator core that is the payload and it's removable so you can put it somewhere else if you want it's a fine build for what it is goes on comes off very easily it's nice that it goes on uh, you know, offset by 45 degrees so it's not just straight on that looks pretty good and if you really want to you can put a a, a person you know an operator in this truck just one i think this could have been set up the way it's designed to uh to enable two people to go in there but we've got that centered uh, uh, steering wheel there in the middle and you know i mean in game you never actually have a person in the truck so i, I think it's okay you know, it's it's really a drone thing there's no detail to be seen for the engine compartment or anything so there's really no, nothing else to be seen here beyond what is obvious yeah there's a pink piece in the front but you never really see it so you know it's just something to make it easier to pick out the part when you're putting it together overall this is okay the main build here tries to give you a little bit of a slice of the the streets the location in which you play the map of dorado and it, there's not a whole lot of substance to it but they do capture the overall look decently well i really like the string lights going across the street there and they also have a small piñata build that suggested no prints no stickers or anything just a a small build that actually actually looks pretty cool for what it is i really like the use of the dark orange over here i hope that they will use dark orange for more street lamp poles and things like that in the future it just really warms a a scene in my opinion a small market stall over here with some fresh fruit just a couple of bananas in there and a couple of of cherries the facade of this structure over here has a fair amount of texture on it uh uh, I'd say an appropriate amount, even though the entire structure itself is is somewhat lacking, certainly in, in bulk. They use a bunch of the one-by-one one, uh, bracket pieces to hold some of those pieces on there. And, you know, just overall, the, the look of it is good, and the archway is designed to allow the cargo truck to come through it. You know, that's one of the, the main considerations there, and allows them to make the whole thing larger without adding a whole lot of extra pieces in their tech to really build the thing as you look at the structure around the side and the back you see what i mean you know it's it's a total of four studs deep well five studs if if you include the, the little bit here that overlaps but you know the main structure itself is four studs and then when you get to the upper level it's only three studs there that you know is left available for figures to be posed on but that is good it's it's more than they do a lot of the time more than they've done back in the day back in the good old days that a lot of people a lot of older fans pine for when in reality they just 
didn't give you much space to put figures in high locations at all. So, you know, here you really can put three figures up here. These are openable shutters. They open to the inside, but they work pretty well. It was smart to get the, the horizontal slat texture on there. But, you know, they open up and then you can use all three of these positions at once if you want with multiple figures or you can just switch between them. They don't give you any reasonable way to get up there. Uh, maybe, I guess, if you bring these things close close enough together, you can imagine jumping up on the, the slight overhang here and then jumping up to here, perhaps. But it would have been nice to get just, I don't know, a barrel or something just to, to help with that for folks who want to actually get into, you know, to real play, physical play with it. There are some stickers on here which represent things that I just don't know. And I'm not even going to try to front about it or spend hours researching the background for the exact significance of these stickers here. But certainly the most dedicated Overwatch players and fans watching will be able to check this out and know what these represent. But that's just it for details. And that's just it for actually that, that I saw in the, um, the short, the animated short for hero, excuse me, for hero, for soldier 76. I'm sure that's what that is a reference to. Uh, otherwise, yeah, just not a whole lot here. They, you know, the designer definitely put some effort into making this, this front here, the facade of it really proper with its texture. But beyond that, it really is just a facade. Here's the soldier 76 minifigure with a pretty good print for the torso. The head print is okay. I, I kind of feel like it needed more of a frown, more of a pronounced frown. They kind of have that frown element or, or frown portion of the design a little bit low down on the chin here. Also, really needed more forehead. Soldier 76 in his, his current form shows a lot of, his current default form at least, shows a lot of forehead. And that hairpiece, while it is very cool, nice and messy, uh, definitely just messes up that that part of that that distinguishing feature of the character i think probably makes him look better than he does in game in a way he's got his heavy pulse rifle which is built up which i think is very nice i think the size of it is actually pretty good for you know just for a, a lego representation it's really nice to actually be able to build up a weapon like that i think that worked out pretty well and around the back of the torso you know he's looking all clean and everything no print whatsoever for the arms no print whatsoever for the hip or for the leg the legs and no alternate face which is really not a surprise but uh yeah the, the you know the print for the skin tone for the forehead there is a little bit lacking but you just see so little of it that to me that's not a big issue on this one in particular mccree is a character that i was actually for some strange reason interested to see how lego would treat it's weird because I'm really not into the Hollywood cowboy aesthetic in general. I just, I was very curious to see how that would be done in a modern Lego world. And the prints, I think, are very good, especially on the legs. And the print goes through the hip piece there in the center. I'm surprised they didn't put any, uh, any print whatsoever on the upper part of the hip there. Uh, the cloth piece... I, absolutely requires a little bit of fiddling to get it to relax a bit you can see you, know, you still get a little bit of gap with the, the overlap because of the thickness there and also sticks out towards the front there are different ways that you can set this up but i recommend that you don't push the head down all the way that's pretty important there but you can get that more across his body like that which may actually be a, a bit of a better look more realistic look to the way those tend to be portrayed in hollywood at, <laughs> at least but you know you do definitely want to see some of that torso print as well so i'll just move that out of the way the torso print i think is a good design but i don't like the gold areas the gold and medium nougat areas uh, especially their edges i don't know there's just something a little bit strange to me about that that edge treatment i think they used some silver under there as well as as an alternate to try to change things up to give it some additional dimension and it just doesn't work so well for me it looks better actually in person depending upon how the light hits it i think when the light hits it like that is when it looks best when you get the most shine off it the most the most reflection uh but 
The face, I think, is very good, except for the lack of any suggestion, suggestion of hair. Uh, he's really dominated by his, his hair. You know, when you, when you look at the character, just so much of his appearance, I think, comes down to his hairstyle. And you just don't see that at all here, which really changes the character. If you ignore the sides, I think, if you only look at that center, then it totally makes sense what, what we're looking at here. Looking around the back, well, the torso, once again, has a pretty good print. And once again, I think it looks best when you're getting maximum light shining off the metallic areas. Not as good when you don't have that, but uh, a good design though, again. Fortunately, they did do one thing really well in this set uh, in terms of his hair. Now, of course, he has his his uh, his peacekeeper there, which is a, a new version of one of Lego's earliest realistic firearms, because they don't do fire realistic firearms, you know. <laughs> but Lego included a hairpiece for him, so you're not able to get the hair on there with the hat, but you are able to get the hair on. So you can choose one or the other, and I think this is absolutely the right hairpiece for him. Dark brown looks great, and yeah, that that really does it. If only they could have combined this and this, then. You, I mean, maybe you can even start to see it there. You know, this really would have been just a dynamite reproduction of that of that character in in Lego form. I accidentally pushed the head down a little bit too much there when I put the hair on, and you can see how the cloth piece is now starting to bend up strangely. Last up here's Reaper, and he only comes with his regular legs in this set. Does not have the wraith form. I think that's fine. The print for the head, again, is just not clean. You know, the, the lower portion of it is good. The br bridge of the nose area has texture in it that is not supposed to be there. The print for the torso, I think, looks absolutely fine. Again, brick-built weapons. He's got his dual shotguns here, which overall, in their shape, look about appropriate. I think that they are good Legoifications of those items. And he has a and an old style of cloth piece for his cape, which is a special design for him, and it fits nicely. On the back, another excellent torso print that you just aren't able to see most of the time. I feel like Lego could probably save some money on some of these prints for characters that are always going to have a cape on, just or some sort of uh, item that will cover up their back. Just don't do a print on the back. Uh, you know, if it's really part of the character to have the cape on there and use that money to do better prints for the front or for the heads or something. Just my opinion. Let me know what you think about that in the comments. The set also includes one of these health packs and the print that I got on this one in particular is actually pretty good, fairly clean compared to others that I've gotten in this series. And these are the extra pieces, the spares, the leftovers. And, you know, it's a pretty reasonable selection. They have some some of the nicer parts in here. Too bad they don't have a, a candle base or anything, but you can always just stick that into a one by one cylinder like they did for this set. So that's just it. Looking at the stuff that I get here and comparing it to other Lego sets and just kind of what the, the normal prices and values of things tend to be, I would value probably the truck and well, everything except for this structure back here, plus two figures at about $20, I'd say. And then add one figure and this whole structure, I mean, there might not be a lot to it, but it does have a fair number of pieces, fair amount of detail. I, I could give that up to $10. Yeah, I, I could see that being about $10. So $30, you know, objectively looking at it, I think would probably be a reasonable price, especially when you consider the overall part count of over 400, well over 400, and it's actually priced at a recommended retail price of 30. It just seems right. It just seems like the numbers are correct there. However, uh, I don't know, there's just something empty about the set to me. When you look at this picture here, or if you look at this picture here, the the background matting basically <laughs> that they put back there just adds so much to the scene that it makes it feel like you're gonna get more than you actually do you know it's just that's just so strong and this is 
just toned down so much and the the suggestion of light is is so close between them i really and this is this whole thing is a, a cg rendering here i really feel like this suggests that you're going to get more than you do so this is this is a, a tough one to look at from a value perspective because like I, I just went through the exercise and it makes sense and price to part ratio is very good but it still doesn't seem like all that fantastic of a set to me i don't know uh, i think i've said all that i can say about it i've also put up a build video if you want to see how it's put together you can find that on my build channel and i'll link to it from the end of the video you're watching now but let me know down in the comments what you think about this what you think about its individual components and its overall value am i just not getting it or do you kind of see some of that that emptiness that i see as well yeah looking forward to hearing what other people say so thanks for watching and thanks in advance for sharing your own opinions talk to you again soon